Well, some big developments in the raid on that polygamous compound near El Dorado, Texas. Tonight, the Texas state troopers have been pulled off the ranch, but as our Mike Watkins has found out now, the FBI, the feds, are taking over. Mike? Uh, yes, indeed, Patty. As Texas law officers conclude their massive search of Warren Jeff's YFC ranch, now round two, the feds have reportedly become involved. Word today that a team of FBI agents now on the sprawling 1,700-acre property outside the little town of El Dorado conducting their own investigation. We can only speculate what they might be looking for, perhaps evidence of children being transported over state lines for purposes of sexual exploitation. Feds may also be looking at financial matters involving the FLDS church. This is 12 of the 416 children removed from the compound over the last several days, now diagnosed with chickenpox. Those 12 children now reportedly being housed separately and receiving medical treatment. And an important question today, what impact is this massive crackdown here in the Lone Star State? What impact is it having on law enforcement efforts in the state of Arizona? We asked that question to Arizona Attorney General Terry Goddard this afternoon, and this is what Mr. Goddard had to say. For future cases and, and for a continuing effort to try to clean up any violations of law that exist in Hildale and Colorado City, uh, we need people to step forward. We need folks to say, uh, I trust the state enough to tell them what my problem is, and if they take criminal action, then I will be a witness. Now, for years, we couldn't get anybody to do that. And now, more and more, young women especially, are stepping forward and saying, I'm willing to, to take whatever consequences may come from my community and my family in order to stand up uh, against an abuser. And what I'm hoping will not happen as a result of the, the very dramatic action in Texas is that those witnesses will f now feel we're not going to come forward. Yeah, I think those are certainly valid concerns expressed by Mr. Goddard today. An interesting footnote, Mr. Goddard tells us, as does Matt Smith up in Mojave County and his special investigator, Gary Eggles, apparently they were not contacted prior to this raid here in Texas. Patty, you know that the actions of Texas officials are going to be analyzed, diagnosed, uh, dissected, and Monday morning quarterbacked for weeks, months, years to come it'll be interesting to see what impact this does have and this has really now become a national problem warren jeff's group now in utah arizona texas south dakota colorado nevada and those are just the places we know of and that's just his group lots of polygamous groups all over the american southwest and patty you asked me at five o'clock the status of that 16 year old girl where is she well as far as texas officials uh, are telling us they uh, they either don't know or are not telling us uh, her status tonight and perhaps one of the problems mike as you well know is that the part of the culture of the FLDS community is one of secrecy and isolation and, and these children have been raised to believe that they will go uh, to you know where if uh, they tell and, uh, and and so they keep secrets they're not t I'm sure they're, that they're not telling officials who they are who their parents are I'm sure that's a big problem out there Oh, it's a huge problem, and there, no doubt there are going to be shock waves throughout this community, and they are going to recoil, undoubtedly, uh, the long-term efforts. But the bottom line is I'm not certain what, uh, what other alternative Texas officials had. Apparently, statutorily, they have to respond when they get a call for help from a child. Their law dictates that. So uh, they were sort of in that, uh, you know, darned if they do, darned if they don't sort of situation. But uh, the outcome, the analysis of this for down the road, uh, you know, it's going to be fascinating to watch to see what impact this has had. You are right. Thank you very much for that. Mike Watkins, once again, live near El Dorado, Texas. And coming up on Good Evening Arizona, get up close and personal.